Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. How's the uh, clicky camera today? You know, it's pretty great. <laughs> Switch that up. No more clicky camera. No more clicky camera, guys. No. no. I actually got a new lens. Yeah, it's nice. You can put coffee in it. Pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so today we decided to do something a little different. Take you guys through a full day of eating. Mm. Now, I've never, I don't think I've actually ever done an actual full day of eating. No. And I just, for the most part, guys, I don't really track my macros every single day. I basically know what I need to eat, how much of it I need to eat. My goal has been for the last few years to basically kind of maintain, although lately I've been getting a bit thicker because I've been training more consistently and on top of training more consistently, that makes you more hungry, so I've been eating more food and that's why I have no food in the fridge right now. <laughs> so today's full day of eating is gonna be a little sporadic, which I think is a bit more relatable too. Like, oh my God, I have nothing to eat. What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? So I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna make us some pancakes, which I do have the ingredients for. It's very easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna make some coffee right now with my, this is my vanilla princess cake. Vanilla espresso. princess cake? Yeah. Oh. It's very nice. It's a very soothing way to start your day. Yeah, right. And I have my, I've had this for so long now. This is my Legend of Zelda mug. Cute. Oh yeah, I got Link riding a Puna on the front right there. Well, you're not tracking macros, but I am. So I'm over there making us some, some eggs. Some eggs, spinach, mushroom, nice and healthy. Yeah, and I already had a banana before we started this video, so. You guys want to write that down? Yeah, I'll put the macros somewhere. Number one, banana. Yeah, I'll put the macros <laughs> somewhere on the screen. Well, I know the macros for my pancake because it's a recipe that um, Erica and I created a while back. So oh, that's sweet. that's pretty good. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So explain to everybody why yours has mushrooms <laughs> and why mine does not have mushrooms. So the reason behind it is one to differentiate whose eggs are whose. Yeah, so okay. I put that on mine. Honestly, here. But this is how much spinach was left. I was trying not to be an asshole and not use all the spinach, so I gave him spinach and I gave myself mushrooms. But what did you say before I turned the camera on? Before I said that I wasn't sure if you like mushrooms. And whose mushrooms are they? They're yours. Okay. <laughs> I don't know this. I, don't know this. <laughs> I made you eggs. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> good source of protein. They do look pretty good. They're they're solid. That's I good. give them eight out of ten. Yeah, I give it. I give it an eight, maybe eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm gonna eat that while I make the protein pancakes. Good. Listen, it's not a full day of eating until you show people eating your food. I learned that I from, first. Yeah, well, yeah, you eat first. I learned that from Max. You gotta make like weird noises. Oh, it actually tastes it. pretty good. Did you use any of the of the seasoning on this? Yeah, man, the butter, butter herb. Ah, oh, the mm -hmm. herb butter. Herb butter. I don't know. See, look at that. I feed my boy. Hmm. It's really good, dude. I'm glad you like it. I just hire you as like a living chef <laughs> yeah, videographer. Seriously, like do video, photo, cook, yeah, clean. You can have the guest room, just to take care of it all. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll get you a little, little maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> From when I filmed too, <laughs> just wear it the whole time. <laughs> uh, comment down below if you want to see me in a maid outfit. I get hurt. 
<laughs> she's 46 and she's gonna get hurt. Babe, you don't do four sets? <laughs> well, cause no, cause yeah, she, so Erica and I just started going to the gym together since like January, which is awesome. But, you know, I'm a trainer by trade, so I like to push her and make her do more. And so, you know, we were doing squats and I wanted, she's like, all right, we're done three sets, let's move on. I was like, no, we're doing four sets. She's like, I don't want to. She's like, I don't want to be too sore, I'm just getting into it. I'm like, no, you're gonna do your fourth set, but we're gonna go lightweight with higher volume. Just to keep you moving, you know. Mm. She did it. <laughs> she pissed, but but she, she did it. it. What's going on here? I'm gonna see if I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can do the syrup and then the whipped cream. Okay. Let's but see. like at the same time. Watch. Oh. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it didn't come out fast enough. Trying. This is pretty good. I'll give it like a eight point six. <laughs> Three, five, four, nine. Where can, where can people find the macros for this and the recipe? So if you guys want to try this recipe, it's on my website, muscularstrength.com. You can get it on the app or on the website. Just go to the recipe section and search protein pancakes. And you'll see a beautiful photo of Erica because it's her recipe. Mm. That's what it's supposed to look like, by the way. And don't you have, what protein did you use? Yeah, so I use the Synthesis Isolate for this. I've used the Edge before, it tastes just as good. The Isolate, I think, tastes a little better. So if you guys want to get some Synthesis Isolate, if you're running out, make sure you go to gobsn.com, use my code SCOTT15, get 15% off, and free shipping. Hey, you remember the good old days when we used to drive Jane everywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you spill my coffee, man? What, how did, how did you even not put it in the cup holder correctly? I did, no it was, I swear to you it was in the cup holder. This is why well, we don't- cup, cup holders hold cups. Yeah, Yours well, flew and hit my feet and- It's not my fault you're driving a shitty Scion <laughs> and it didn't hold the fucking cup. I was gonna wear my white Gucci shoes and I changed them last minute because I didn't feel like putting on white <laughs> socks. Thank God I did and I wore my boots instead. More importantly, my fucking coffee's gone. Yeah, well that's what you get. Oh. Oh look. It's Jane. Why are you gonna be so mean? <laughs> uh, it's actually my friend Brandon's car that works here. He's in my Camaro club. It looks like looks like Jane, but it's not Jane. I told him the other day, I'm like, Jane's out, radiators busted a leak. But he's like, oh, don't worry, we have a back suit. Yeah. I'll tell you what, dude, I'm already wicked hungry. Yeah, me we too. I'm already getting there. just finished eating. What, like an hour ago? Yeah, about an hour and a half maybe. I'll tell you what, since doing the nuclei overload training and I'm starting to adopt a lot more of the principles of high volume training and full body training, I've noticed more growth, I feel thicker, and I'm I'm getting hungrier, but at the same time, I, I also feel like I'm getting leaner. Like yeah. I can see my abs more, I can see veins more. Yesterday I was doing legs, I could see more veins in my legs. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think it'd be a good time to, that's why I feel like it would be a great time to do one of these, just to show people that it's not rocket science when it comes to eating healthy, it's to, just and being. And to be honest, this is how I've been eating. Exactly. <laughs> like, I'm eating right now, my yeah. abs are pretty lean, and I've been eating Panda, I've been going, you know, Chipotle, yeah. I've been eating my Icon meals, I've been doing my protein shakes, I mean, I'm not eating junk food. I mean, I'll throw in some sour, Max. Like, I can't, I can't open, you have to make the packages smaller because, <laughs> I open a package of sour strips, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have two. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have two more. Oh, one more. Oh, I'm, two more. I'm, I'm done. Two more, I'm done. <laughs> and the whole bag's gone. Yep. So we're at the GameStop right now, picking up some pre-orders. These two came in. We got Mega Frieza and Future Trunks. And then Brandon hooked me up. I've been trying to get more pop stacks, but it's like they're so hard to find. And not only hard to find, but also finding good condition. So he's been hooking me up. How, and then we got how the new. How hard are they to find? The wicked hat to find. Wicked hat. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the new Dragon Ball Z game Kakarot comes out on the 17th, but I won't be able to pick it up until I get back from London. So I'm going with my family. You guys will probably see footage from that vlog as well. Dude, every single time a new game comes out, I am always traveling. I have never been able to jump on the day of the launch. When it goes. Then. Yeah, I've never been able to do it. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We ate like an hour ago. I know, dude. I'm so hungry. I want to get some good lifting in today. So I'm gonna eat lots of food. Ooh. What is it? What is it about panda that just like really tickles your fancies? 
It's just what I like to eat. I just, I really like meat and rice. It's my staple food. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I love and I like the bit, I like the the tangy taste of the orange chicken. It kind of yeah. like switches things up. I love pan that's press, but I think with you, I've eaten the most pan that's press I've ever had in years. Yeah, it's just so good. Just something about Coke in a bottle, I just can't resist. Right. Every Classic. time. I was hanging a cup of water, then I saw the Coke in the bottle. Like I gotta have it. So right, lunch today. I mean, pretty simple, guys. I got about a cup and a half of fried rice, which has a little bit of veggies and some eggs and stuff in it, but. Eh, not enough to really consider it like veggies, right? <laughs> so basically just rice and meat. I get a good nine to 10 ounces of meat here. And this is gonna fill me up. I'm gonna feel great. I'm gonna feel refueled. I'm gonna get to the gym. I'm gonna have a good workout today. Sure are. I went a little lighter. I did white rice, chicken and string beans, and then chicken and mushroom. But I'm on a contest prep, so I'm trying to, when I eat out, I try and go for the healthiest thing that I can find and then just kind of round up all the time just in case, to be sure. Yeah, and I granted, I probably wish I had a bit more vegetables with my lunch, but I'm gonna have some good vegetables tonight with my dinner. I got mushrooms to cook, I got some string beans I gotta cook as well. But, I mean, eating eating to, to maintain or to make lean gains or stay like in a, in a mini bulk is pretty easy, guys. If you just make good decisions throughout the day and you just kinda keep in your mind, okay, I need healthy carbs and healthy proteins and healthy fats, it's rice and meat. Like you can't get, it, it doesn't get more complicated than that, right? Right. Now clean up your mess. Listen, anybody, any car company that makes one small cup holder, look at that. What's the point of that? Nothing, nothing at all. I mean, to put garbage in it. Let's, let's, let's be real. Who puts it like this and like <laughs> assumes this is gonna hold? I didn't think about it. I just put it's it. It's your generation. Holder. Christ. <laughs> It's your generation of Jesus. friggin' kids. Uh, What's damn. your generation? Uh, I was born in 94. Does that make me Gen X? I think it's Gen D for dumb. <laughs> Gen D for dumb. You're, you're Gen D. Listen, you're too fucking old anyways. <laughs> Give me my fucking camera. Uh, how full do you feel? Call me old fashioned, but I like to make sure things are secure before I leave them there. Nope, not me. You're gonna put your baby in the car and like shake the car seat. <laughs> Boom, it just ah, like flies out. I mean, it's 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 kind of still there. <laughs> He'll live. Well, yeah, we'll go. How full are you? I'm actually pretty full. All right. I'm excited to digest this food. Um, while we go, we're gonna take some, we're gonna go get some photos for the IG real quick. Ooh. And then after that, we're gonna be digested and ready to hit the gym. Ready. Let's do it. All right, we're home. Yeah, ready to go to the gym. The yes. food's digested. I'm just gonna. Put these pops on the shelf. And then we're gonna get started today's workout. We did heavy squats yesterday, full body training. Gonna hit some deadlifts.
actually, the workout was great. I gotta tell you, you guys have already seen the Nuclei Overload video by now. If you haven't seen it yet, please go watch. It's a really great video, a lot of great information in there. Like, I actually have been the most excited training over the past few weeks than I've been in a long time because I'm making the switch to full body training, but I'm doing it my way, which I haven't quite figured out what that is yet. I'm experimenting with a few different things, how much, how many reps I'm doing, how many sets I'm doing. Um, I really could give two shits about RPE. I'm just gonna throw that out there, okay? Rate of perceived exhaustion. Everybody dances on this term like it's gonna help you so much with your gains. Just get in the gym and go lift some fucking weight. That's how I feel about when I do my programs. And so, like, for me, when I go to the gym lately, I've been doing at least four sets of all my exercises, the exercises like you saw in this video right here. I know how my body feels. Some days I'm gonna feel stronger than other days, especially if I'm doing full body. I do all my, let's say I do a full body workout today, I'm gonna go tomorrow and do a full body workout again, something's gonna be more tired and less tired, right? So I'm gonna push myself harder in different exercises. So I don't think RPE really applies to the type of training that I'm doing, but I really wanna to continue to combine that with the nuclei overload where, yeah, with the full body, technically we are doing nuclei overload because we're hitting you know, stimulation multiple days throughout the week. But I feel like if it's done properly, right, you can take that 30 day, 100 reps a day challenge for a specific body part that's lagging and incorporate that into a full body program and start to bring up lagging areas while you're getting overall growth as well. It's a lot to think about, but I'm really excited to kind of like go down that path and, and figure it out. That was a I big workout, man. What? That was a really good workout. It was, dude, like I feel great. I mean, I don't know, usually the, the camera makes me look so small, you know, according true. to everybody that I meet. It's very true. But when we met Austin, when yeah. we met online, the first thing they say, wow, he's a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. <laughs> I just got the wrong camera lens. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Yep, just walk like that on every shot. Yep. What are we, big yet? What am I we, big yet? What are we eating? <laughs> so I'm gonna combine these two meals. Um, I've been having bigger meals lately. It's just been easier for me to do that. But throughout the day, so in the morning we had the protein pancakes, which have about, and I basically like, I'm not tracking my macros to the point to where I'm counting every single calorie, all my carbs and all my fat. And all, well, I am counting all my protein. That's my number one goal right now. For me, because I've been training for so long, I know my body, I know how I feel when I train. If I feel extra tired, I can tell if it's sleep. I know how much water I've drank, so if it's lack of water, I drink more water. But like in terms of carbohydrates, I've always had a great relationship with carbohydrates. So like at the gym today, I felt great, felt phenomenal. I didn't feel tired throughout my exercises, able to push myself. I know that I've eaten plenty of carbohydrates throughout the day and then having you know, this at night is definitely gonna be good for me. What is this? This is almost like 60 grams of carbs right here. Yeah, just it's actually bit. exactly 60, 36 and 24. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a really well-rounded meal for me. About almost 60 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and then we got about 24 grams of fat. So it's, it's gonna be a nice mm -hmm. overall rounded meal, about 680 calories. Mm -hmm. And I got, you know, a balance. I got, I got vegetables, I got rice, I got meat, I got everything. But the, the protein had, I mean, the pancakes had 55 grams of protein. At Panda Express, we calculated it, like almost, probably like 70 to 77 grams of protein with mm -hmm. all that meat that we had. So that what, puts me at like 136 grams of protein. And then after I eat these two meals, that puts me up to like 180 grams of protein, which I try to make my minimum every single day. And if I go over that by a little bit, it's not really gonna make that big of a deal. It's gonna feel fine because normally what happens at nighttime, what time is it right now, like eight o'clock? Just about. Having this meal at eight o'clock, by like 10, 10.30, when I'm laying in bed watching TV with Erica, I usually come out and I, I get another quick meal, but what I actually do is about one cup of Greek yogurt. I use non-fat plain, and it's really awesome. This has six grams of carbs per cup. Um, actually, no, serving size three-fourths cup, not one cup. So about three-quarter cup, six grams of carbs, and then 16 grams of protein. Actually, they changed that. Mm -hmm. it it's used always, to be 22. It, it, what? It used to be 22 grams of protein. Yeah, well, because it was one cup. Oh. Ah, I don't, how would they do that? That's weird. Know. That's strange. Well, anyway, so <laughs> I would do one cup, and it was 21, 22 grams of protein, so that's probably what I would do. 
And then I just mix in some blueberries and some strawberries. I call it a day. When I get back from the LA Fit Expo, I will be home you know, for a while. I'm not traveling. So I would like to do a full day of eating and show you guys how I prep my meals and what kind of food I do prep. So if you want to see that video, make sure you give this one a like, comment below, and obviously tap that subscribe button. So Eat. I'm gonna get to these meals. I'm sure Ricky's hungry too. Yes. And for those of you who enjoyed today's workout, if you're looking for something new to try, go down below, click the link, download my guaranteed gains program. It's absolutely free, all right? You will have to make a profile on my website, but it's a free profile. That's it. All you're doing is just log it in so you can download all the data and bring it with you to the gym. Okay, guys? So yeah, That's let's it. eat some food. Yeah, yeah. If you guys did miss the nuclei overload video, make sure you check it out over here because I'm gonna be applying the nuclei overload 30 day challenge to other body parts, but I'm not gonna really dive into the science in those videos because I did all the science stuff over there. So make sure you check it out. Later guys.